Good morning, good morning. So, um, back at it in Gilroy with some bird proofing today. Just want to quickly show you guys what I have right here. Uh, if you've seen other videos, I typically go with the straight only um, already pre cut mesh. However, as I was organizing my van, I noticed I still had one roll of a previous vendors. And it, like I said, it comes in a roll. I typically don't like using this um, only because I have to pre cut it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing, um, you know, it, it's going to do its job. It's professional quality. I just, I'm going to take time right now having to, you know, cut it into five foot sections. My, what I use now already comes pre-cut, so it makes things a lot quicker for me just to just to quickly plug and play, basically. Um, but I don't have too much of it left, so with, that, with this, I can definitely do this job. So we got our blower here. With the blower, you're gonna wanna just, you know, blow off the roof, wanna get everything nice and clean, as clean as possible. Um, just a little, you know, extra service, that way the, the clients can, can continue to enjoy their house and not have to smell that popcorn from the pigeons. Um, we got our J clips right there. They're, they're, those clips are aluminum in that white bucket right there. And then um, we have obviously our extension pole. The extension pole is for the gutters when places that I can't reach because of panels, you know, panels being so close to the edge. I have to sometimes, you know, sit at the edge over there and then I'll be extending the pole maybe to the middle and cleaning everything my way. Same with those ones over there. There's certain areas that I can't reach. And then also, it also helps for um, like nests underneath the panels. You definitely want to be very careful whenever you're putting any sort of, whether it's your hand or poles underneath panels, you don't want to be um, pulling on wires. You don't want to be disconnecting wires. You don't want to be damaging any wires. So you got to be very careful. It's really, you know, it's really last resort. If there's a, a nest that it's really stuck in there and I can't get it out. Um, like I said, the blower, you can be blowing things off the roof. And then also my, my gutter equipment so I can clean out the gutters um, and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it so we're gonna be getting this done it's, it's a fairly s small system got five panels over here and then we have four panels over here but um, it's gonna be a good one I mean just look how dirty this is so this is definitely needed um, those aren't, that's obviously a neighbor's house, but those are not bird meshed. They're not pigeon proofed. But those ones over there are. And then this neighborhood is just really bad. Really, really bad. It's like, um, you just gotta, we gotta try and get all the houses. If we're really gonna get the pigeons out of here, gotta get all the houses. Hey buddy, hey buddy. If I hadn't already said it, fun fact, pigeon poop smells like popcorn. the s tile don't forget you're definitely gonna want to make notches that we can bend the valleys all right the hills and valleys on the deep s tile such as these ones or some other s tile spanish style 
first tile roof, but they're not very deep. These ones are deep. So you definitely want to make sure you cut them all out and you bend them in. You don't have to cut out right here on the sides. You only have to cut on the tops and on the bottoms. So you make sure you cut them all on all arrays. right there but I gotta put up pull out my 32 foot ladder but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna clean these clean those and then finish that the last last step that way I'm gonna come back on the roof I'll get everything off the roof it's a done deal